So this election uh, project is actually project-based learning. Um, it's different in how I've previously taught lessons and when in the fact that I don't give them the information and then ask them to create something with it. Instead, I am walking alongside the students as they find the information and then do something with it. So in this case, rather than me telling them about the election process and this is what you do to get someone elected, we are actually doing those things and the students are learning the components to those things as we go. We held an in-class election and selected two candidates who would then run for class president. After that, we um, looked through some of the jobs that are associated with a campaign, and students chose what positions they wanted to hold. Um, we have everything from treasurers to pollsters, um, ad teams, speech writers, campaign managers, and all of those groups then, or all those people, work together um, to get their candidate elected. I'm Solomon Adams. I'm running for um, candidate as classroom president. I'm a speech writer, so everything that Solomon says, like on the news for the candidates, um, I write all of it. I am Solomon's campaign manager. I can supervise like the speech writer and the ad team while they're making the posters and the commercials so that I can see what they're doing and give them ideas on how they could do it better or what they might want to change. Over the past week and a half or so, students have been very busy um, making flyers, um, sending out uh, My Big Campus messages to try to get the buzz going about their candidate. They have been um, shooting video for a political ad. We will be holding a debate this week. We have a news reporter each period who has been collecting the news um, about from the, from the different candidates and the different teams um, to find out what's been going on. And then they're using iMovie, which I have on my iPad, to edit it all together and then uh, make short little newscasts. They range anywhere from three to five minutes, um, and they do those daily. Next week on election day, we'll be holding an in-class election. We'll set up a secret voting uh, poll booth in the classroom, and students will come in and they will um, secretly cast their ballot for the teams or for the, the candidates. After um, we have tallied the votes, we'll be able to then either give their acceptance speech or their concession speech.